they're looking at Republicans in Washington and laughing at us. They think we are a complete joke, and I'll say it over and over again. Yes, Marjorie Taylor Greene, the world is laughing at the Republican Party, and specifically it's because of people like you, the MAGA takeover of the Republican Party that has turned a once proud political party into a conspiracy-laden cult for Donald Trump. I want to show you a case in point with your boyfriend, Brian Glenn, who is a right-wing TV producer for all of these MAGA TV networks. Our Gen Z reporter, Adam Mockler, was in Philadelphia, and he was ready to have a calm and fact-based debate with anybody there. And your husband, Brian Glenn, was there to spew his propaganda. Adam Mockler, the Gen Z correspondent from the Midas Touch Network, was trying to have a fact-based and very calm conversation with Brian Glenn. But Brian Glenn, your boyfriend, had a meltdown because he didn't have the facts. So he called in his MAGA goons, basically, to go after our Gen Z reporter rather than deal with facts. Let me show you what should have just been a normal conversation, but this is also why MAGA is not interested in having a fact-based debate, and they don't know what to do when they're confronted with facts calmly and the way Adam Mockler did it. By the way, Adam Mockler is a star. Make sure you subscribe to his YouTube channel. Of course, you know Adam Mockler is our Gen Z reporter at the Midas Touch Network. Watch this. Do you think Donald Trump, when he was convicted on all 34 counts, what did you think about that? Because I was- it me, Matt. And none of those 34 counts is worthless. You got a worthless case. You got a case from the FEC. Why is it worthless? It's worthless because there was no crime that was committed. Falsifying business records with the intent of covering up another crime. But Michael Cohen went- That's what they said. That's what you say. That's what the jury said. The jury handpicked by Donald Trump's I, I lawyers. I know exactly what you're all about right now. You're not an independent journalist. You're nothing but a Trump hater, and you're out here trying to get everybody to be tripped up. Let me ask you a question. Who thinks these 34 indictments are worth a piece of crap? You know what? It's they all, to interview listen, the biggest they're all worthless. You know that. You know that. Yo, you, know that. you know that. You know that. What? The 34? What? The 34 indictments are worthless. You're saying that our entire... Let you, when you, let me, wait, let me finish. Come to one question. Let me ask you a question. Would you rather have Joe Biden in the White House for another four absolutely, years? absolutely. Okay. President Biden's been interview, interview over. Interview over. Okay. I don't want to talk to anybody that has any. You have zero common sense. You're undermining on that. our entire justice system I'm when you say this your jury ability to like elect the next president that's competent. I'm sorry, I don't want the dude that made his supporters attack the Capitol. Okay. I don't want the dude he that made the supporters attack the Capitol. Chair, his rhetoric chair, directly he said peacefully chair, walked to the Capitol. Chair, he said fight. He said chair, Mike Pence didn't do this. me again, but don't touch me. Don't, don't, put, don't touch me, my dog. Yeah. Dude, don't touch me. You're getting in front of my way. Don't touch me out here. I'm gonna tell you that. I got Don't touch me, my boy. Don't do that. If you worry about, worry about 34, you're going worry about 34 ass whoopings in a minute, boy. Don't follow that rally. Don't bring that bullshit over here. Don't bring that bullshit over here. Yes, a great job there by Adam Mockler. Um, just so you can see who we're dealing with, with Brian Glenn, and you'll see kind of the intersection between Glenn and Marjorie Taylor Greene and Donald Trump. So Brian Glenn's history was he worked in daytime TV, um, did daytime news, a failure though. You know, like a lot of these MAGAs, he's a loser, he didn't have a good career, but he found in this MAGA world a way to kind of reinvigorate his career. So there are lots of videos and photos, for example, of Brian Glenn when he would do daytime TV and he'd be wearing drag for example, um, because he was just promoting a good time and, and having fun. So when our researchers pointed out, hey, Brian Glenn, who's now condemning drag shows and saying horrific, horrific things, you dressed in drag quite frequently when you were doing morning TV. And here was the response by Marjorie Taylor Greene. I'm literally LOLing. Brian Glenn dressed in drag for the morning news in Dallas years ago, reporting on an upcoming local theater production and the morons over at Patriot Takes think this is an attack. Brian loves the throwback in his reposting. The left is so stupid. And here's what Brian Glenn also wrote. I didn't think anything of it because I have a sense of humor and I think that's what a lot of people on the left don't have. 
Can you believe what they're saying? Y'all who are trying to shut down drag shows of people who just want to have, to use your words, a sense of humor, a good time, to be themselves the way you were doing, you now want to shut them down. But for you, this is just having a good time, reporting on local theater. You love it. It's it's all funny. Then you have Brian Glenn posting selfie videos of himself like this, and he warned he warned there could be a potential fallout from the total eclipse combined with several earthquakes, a resurgent of one's dormant locus that will all of a sudden attack mankind and then something about Joe Biden's related to all of this happening. This is what they are feeding to people on the right wing. So when Adam Mockler tries to just have a normal conversation, a normal discussion that says, hey, what about this fact? What about that fact? What about this fact? All Brian Glenn knows how to do is say, what do we think about Donald Trump? We love him. Yeah. Come on. Come over here, everybody. Watch what Glenn had to say over here. I want you guys to have a fantastic weekend, and here's why. This might be the last normal weekend that we have for quite some time. I mean, we've got this solar eclipse on Monday, this very rare solar eclipse. Who knows what the fallout from that will be? Plus, that will be combined with several earthquakes. We've already seen a few already. And why not uh, sprinkle in this infestation of locusts uh, that have been dormant for years and all of a sudden will attack mankind so why not oh then throw in joe biden trying to get into a war with iran for whatever reason he wants to do that so on that note have a great weekend we'll see you next week or maybe not by the way i think the biden harris campaign did a great job here where they showed donald trump marjorie taylor green Handshake, there's a reason that Marjorie Taylor Greene is one of the leaders in Trump's MAGA movement, why Marjorie Taylor Greene would likely get a cabinet level position. Marjorie Taylor Greene, if Donald Trump were to be elected, will be making life and death decisions over your life. Undoubtedly, Donald Trump will appoint her to a position. And this is not hyperbole. I could see her becoming secretary of state. I could see her becoming uh, the uh, a cabinet leader of another major department, maybe defense, maybe education, which they want to destroy. Here, watch watch this video that they put together of the Biden-Harris campaign. Put it up. I absolutely love Marjorie Taylor Greene. The so-called plane that crashed into the Pentagon. It's odd. There's never any evidence shown for a plane in the Pentagon. But anyways, I won't. I'm not going to dive into the 9-11 conspiracy. She's got spirit. If you want to be a big girl, you need to get rid of your diaper and come out and be able to talk to the American citizens instead of us having to use a flap, a little flap. She's got fight. She's got spunk. Space no, lasers. why don't why don't you go talk about Jewish space lasers? And really, why don't you off? How about that? I'm Thanks. Thank you very much. And I believe she'll be around and on our side for a long time to come. That's that's what Q has been telling everyone Q is trying to tell people on these forums and 4chan, and he's trying to tell people the truth. Right, and then Marjorie Taylor Greene and Brian Glenn would do these videos together. And so here's Marjorie Taylor Greene comparing Donald Trump being uh, this time indicted to Nelson Mandela and Jesus. And she says that uh, Trump's like Mandela and Jesus. Play this clip. President Trump is joining some of the most incredible people in history being arrested today. Um, Nelson Mandela was arrested, served time in prison. Jesus, Jesus was arrested and murdered by uh, the Roman government. There have been many people throughout history that have been arrested and persecuted by radical, corrupt governments. And it's beginning today in New York City. Um, and I just can't believe it's happening, but I'll always support him. He's done nothing wrong. Marjorie Taylor Greene grabbing the cardboard genitals of Donald Trump. Play the clip. There we go. There we go. And then I gotta do one more thing. I always do this. I just love this guy so much. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. He's, he is. He's fantastic. This guy right here is great. He's standing up in there in the mucky swamp. Diane always has him in the mucky swamp. Yeah. But it's amazing. And I want to show you this video, and I know you may have seen it before, but you see the through line here with Mockler just trying to interview her boyfriend, how he behaved, how they all behave in this kind of MAGA cult. 
Just think about who Marjorie Taylor Greene is. You saw those clips from the Biden-Harris campaign. But this was Marjorie Taylor Greene harassing David Hogg just weeks after the Parkland shooting. She was chasing him and other survivors of a school shooting. This is who the Republican Party is today. Play the clip. Yeah. David, why are you supporting the red flag laws? If there had been, if Scott Peterson, the resource officer at Parkland had done his job, then Nicholas Cruz wouldn't have killed anybody in your high school or at least protected them. Why are you supporting red flag gun laws that attack our second amendment rights? And why are you using kids to get to, as a barrier? Do you not know how to defend your stance? Look, I'm an American citizen. I'm a gun owner. I have a concealed carry permit. I carry a gun with, for, for protection for myself. And you are using your lobby and the money behind it and the kids to try to take away my second amendment rights. You don't have anything to say for yourself? You can't defend your stance? How did you get over 30 appointments with senators? How'd you do that? How did you get major press coverage on this issue? And how did you get kids? Why do you use kids? Why kids? You know, if school if school zones were protected by with security guards with guns, there would be no mass shootings at schools. Do you know that? The best way to stop a bad guy with a gun is with a good guy with a gun. But yet you're attacking our Second Amendment. And you have nothing to say. No words. Tell him walking. He's got nothing to say. Sad. He has nothing to say because there really isn't anything to say, you guys. He has nothing to say because he's paid to do this. He has the walkaway march. He's mm -hmm. got the um, he's got the women's march, and they're funding all of this. Every town gun USA, they're funding all this stuff. Okay, that was David Hogue right there. David, we saw him inside the Senate building. He had 30, 30 um, appointments where he ran around and got to talk to senators. I got to talk to none, none. He had media coverage all over the place. I had zero. Guess what? I'm a gun owner. I'm an American citizen and I have nothing but this guy with his George Soros funding and his major liberal funding has got everything. I want you to think about that. That's where we are. And he's a coward. He can't say one word because he can't defend his state. Great work, Adam Mockler. I want to remind all of you, Adam Mockler has his own YouTube channel. Go search Adam Mockler. It's partnered with the Midas Dutch Network. Subscribe to the Mockler channel right now. Tell him we sent you at the Midas Touch. Great job, Adam. We're super proud of you as always. I'm Ben Micellis from the Midas Touch Network. Hit subscribe. Let's get to 3 million subscribers together. Have a wonderful day.